Hey, what's up guys? So in January, we made a promise to get to Nipod this year. Uh, sadly, we only have like two months left now and every time we attempt one, it fails, so um, it's kind of stressful. But anyway, two nights ago, I went uh, on a two hour drive to uh, Alamo, Nevada, which is north from here, and uh, it is a border two zone. So my main goal was to image the Shark Nebula. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you really quick uh, how it went. So I spent all night there, uh, imaging the shark nebula but i also took a second rig at the same time but in the end uh, the shark nebula which you will see very soon was uh, probably the most difficult target i ever had to image and process it was really really hard but first let me explain to you why i took a second rig so i took the mid 70 mm apo in my atlas mount <laughs> because look at jill bear uh, because i spent the last night uh, imaging oh look at that great surprise right so I spent the last night imaging the Sol Nebula in HA, and so I wanted to spend another night in a darker zone to do some O3 imaging on the same Sol Nebula. And here I was using a new battery as well, so the battery is from Jackery, and um, it seemed like it's doing a great job all night and only 50% uh, used, so it's pretty good to know. And so I'm using the same battery on the field for my computer and my phone. Alright, so I need to find a way to put this mess into the car without breaking anything. So I'm going to attempt to put it in the car. The, the, the problem is the car is already full with all my stuff. I'm going to take in two rigs tonight. So I um, cannot put it anywhere here. And I'm wondering if I could put it in the front here, just like that maybe. Uh, it's, it's kind of scary, but. It's gonna have to do, right? All right. And the trunk here, we have so much stuff. Ah, two rigs. And uh, yep, here we are on the road for two hours. So the area around Alamo is really pretty. It's much different than uh, Las Vegas. There is more greens and stuff. It's just pretty pretty. So here I am screwing in my uh, QHY 600C, which actually came with a telescope from Mark. So it's also a loner. So it's attached to the Moonlight Focuser, which is amazing. And look at how massive it is. And then I'm just balancing really quick. My friends Roche and Patrick went with me, which is really nice because now I rarely go imaging alone. I used to go imaging alone all the time, well, me and Dahlia, but now we have friends and we never, never, never image by ourselves anymore. And here's a full rig. So here's the main uh, rig SVX-130 with the uh, QHY-600C on the Mighty Mount. So pretty. And we have a second rig, which is the Atlas EQG mount with a mid 70mm APO and I'm using the ASI 1600mm with the ASI Air. And the ASI Air Pro, I'm actually not happy with it for now. I mean, it's, it's been glitching a bit and I had to completely rewrite the SD card and so I'm hoping it's going to work tonight. And here is a close-up view of the um, Focuser and the QHY 600C, which is an insane camera, by the way. So I brought the Jackery battery, which is super light, um, to power up my laptop and my phone. But I'm also using it this time to um, to blow the inflatable mattress I brought, so I could finally sleep in the car for once. My plan for tonight is to use the SVX-130 on the Shark Nebula and use the mid 70mm APO on O3 um, for the Soul Nebula. I already started HA at home and I think HA plus O3 will do a great bicolor image. Uh, we'll see. I'm really hoping that I have enough time on the Shark Nebula because uh, 
It's a really, really faint target. I'm going to spend all night on it and we'll see. And yes, for the first time in my life, I had a good sleep in the car. Amazing. Anyway, so the night was really good, nice. Uh, here is a single shot of the, the Shark Nebula. I chose to do a 10 minute shot, so each shot was 10 minutes long. And as you can see, you can almost see nothing. It's just stars and just darkness, so you can't really see anything. And the Milky Way was setting, um, and I had a really nice view from the car as I was falling asleep. And I woke up around 5 a.m. the next morning and I could see uh, both telescopes pointing towards their respective areas. So, And so once again, here is a single shot of the Shark Nebula and here it is stacked. So this is about 8.7 hours of data stacked. I had no IR cut filter, so there is some rainbow-like artifact on the bottom there, which is really annoying. This is really, really hard. Really, really hard. Is going to look terrible. And look at this. This is from the, uh, I'm guessing, a bright star right on the bottom here. And um, yeah, with no filter, no IR cut filter. Um, this is what happens, I think. So this rainbow here, I'm sure I will not be able to take it out. So um, we're going to have to deal with it for now. Oh, and by the way, for the second rig, um, somehow the ASI Air stopped after like 11 shots, like it just froze. Uh, and I was sleeping, of course. Anyway, so since I came back, like I've spent every second of it trying to process the Shark Nebula, and it's extremely difficult, so... And here is one of the masks I've been using. It's like super pretty, and you can really see like the, sh the shark shape, right? Uh, even with a fin, almost. But anyway, so here is the final result. Of the Shark Nebula. This is 8.7 hours or so with the SVX 130 and the QHY 600C doing 600 second exposures, so 10 minutes long for each. And um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy overall just knowing it's only one night worth because I'm pretty sure for a dark nebula like this, you really want to spend several nights on it. Um, so I suggest if you plan to image a dark nebula like this one try your best to go to a very very dark site and spend several nights on it so maybe do like i don't know like a camping trip for example where you do uh three nights in a row on the same target because those dark nebulae really are a pain to process so i might decide to spend another night on it i'm not really sure um, i'm not sure because if i do um, i'm gonna have to deal with maybe another rainbow uh, artifact and maybe also I'm gonna have to deal with um, some back focus issues <sighs> but anyway um, so I'll see you guys next time and uh, yep see ya <laughs>